Thanks, Blue Bottle. Thanks, Abel. Ow, what the fuck was that? Did you mean to do that? What the hell? We're doing this video a little bit out of order. This is technically the end of the vlog. I'm gonna be building one of my desks for flexi spots. We're gonna show that at the beginning. And this is actually what it looks like when it's all done, but we're going to build the second desk that they sent from scratch. I don't know why I was just standing there so awkwardly and didn't know what to do. Well, I'm not redoing it. Believe me when I say that I'm fully aware of how messy it is over here. Shockingly, as you will see in a few minutes, it's gotten astoundingly better and like more clear here. We need to really come up with a better storage solution, but for now it's actually gotten a lot better. So we're gonna build out the second desk, figure out where exactly that is going to live. Let's do this. Just take this, plug that in there, and this is gonna be the motor that controls like the standing desk function. Plug. Babe, if you're watching this, I want you to know that you now have a sole purpose. As my partner, as my boyfriend, as my confidant and best friend, you let me know when some shit fits me crazy like that because you're actually doing me an injustice and you're embarrassing me by letting me wear these damn pants outside. I am embarrassed. Thank you. The desk is still a work in progress, but I want to show you guys kind of where we're at with everything. Did so much changing up. So this is going to be Ryan's little office corner, and then this whole wall is going to be mine. This is the desk. I still need to get a chair. <laughs> Look how cute everything looks. I got my little frame photo, Prince and Duke, my laptop. But let me show you guys some stuff that's really cool about this desk. You can customize the tabletop, like the wood. You can do a darker wood. You could do light wood. You can make it white. You can make it black. It's super customizable. And then when it comes to your legs, I did white. I believe it's just white and black. I showed you guys this little motor under here, but that connects to the wall. And you're actually able to to plug in. You can see I have my laptop cord charging here. You can also plug in two USBs and then this adjusts the height. So you can actually see the inches of how high it's going and how low it's going. And then these numbers here are to set for memory. However, I haven't done that yet. Got the 48 inch wood top desk and it's the bamboo texture with white. It also has a pull out drawer where I'm able to put like an additional laptop that I have, you know, my phone stands. They are really good about making this desk like very multifunctional so that it can kind of cover all of your needs. I do plan to get a little walking pad under here so I can get my steps while I'm editing a video. This is the start of something really great. And I just want to thank Flexi Spot so, so much for gifting me a desk because, well, gifting me two desks because now Ryan gets one and I get one and I'm just so thrilled and so excited. I will make sure to leave the desk linked in the description box for you guys if you're interested. And yeah, just make sure to check out Flexi Spot because you will not be disappointed. We finally invested in an expensive cat tree. I'm buying my cat trees for like no more than 50, 60 bucks on Amazon. But I heard about this brand, Mao, Mao. Originally it's already in the box. But we gotta take you out, sir. Cause we have to build it for you. I'm so excited. This is actually pretty expensive. It was like two something. I feel like it's one of those things where you pay for what you get because all the other ones I've gotten just kind of fall apart really easily. And I'm hoping that that is not the case for this one. I mean, look at this. Oh my God. I think Rochelle's gonna freaking love this. <laughs> I don't even think he knows what he's in for. Oh, wait, this is so nice. It has like this little cat house. <laughs> this already feels like way better quality than the one I've had before. Oh. Oh, they included catnip. That's so cool. Baby, they sent me this and they didn't even give me instructions for how to build it. You want me to build it? Yeah, I think I need your help. Oh, is there a picture of it? Yeah, there's a picture, but look, I don't see it. In the picture, they don't have these little sticks. <laughs> Thank you. 
gonna tell my dad. <laughs> Go in there, Duke. What are you closing? <laughs> That's crazy. That is so cute. Duke. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We are so happy with this place. I feel like since we've, oh, it's raining outside, baby. It's drizzling. Hello? I said it's raining outside. It's drizzling. Oh. I just wanted him to know. I know, it's kind of nice though, huh? And look, it's not getting over us because, well, anyway. Today is Saturday and last weekend I feel like we were kind of out of commission. No, the first weekend here we were out of commission. The second week we were like starting the process. Regardless, this is our, is this our second weekend or our third weekend? It's only our second weekend. Second weekend. Oh, okay, so never mind. I know, so this is our second weekend in the house. The first weekend, I feel like I was coming down with a little bit of a bug, just from like all the dust and the moving and the stress, the lack of sleep. Me too, I think. Yeah, we definitely were. Now, we're like officially in like, okay, let's get this shit done, because as you can see, this needs a lot of work. Brian's gonna be building his own desk, and then I have a desk that's gonna be coming in soon from Flexi Spot. I still need to get rid of this freaking sofa. This right here is all stuff that I want to list on Depop, but like, I don't know. You know, I feel like every time I say I'm going to do this, I really don't know that I'm actually going to list it all on Depop. I know that I can tackle some of this because I have a bunch of books in these like bins back here and I got a bookshelf called the Sapiens bookshelf. It's like that one where it kind of is just vertical and it has little shelves in between. You just stack the books on them and it looks really nice. So we're gonna put that in the corner of the living room. Ryan's gonna be doing some cleaning and organizing. We have some garbage that needs to be taken out. We have some stuff that we need to donate to the Goodwill. There's just like so much that needs to be done. So we're just gonna put on some music and start the process and get it all done. Let's do it. I got this big package in and I was opening it up and I was like, this looks a lot like Blue Bottle. Like whatever company this is, is definitely trying to copy Blue Bottle. I saw on the weekend's Instagram that he was doing a collab with Blue Bottle Coffee to celebrate Ethiopian culture and I got a PR package. Is the weekend Ethiopian? Mate, I would assume if he's doing it. But it actually is cool merch. Like I would 100% wear this. Is that over the hoodie? Is that over like a heavy long sleeve and then a t-shirt and a beanie and this tote bag oh and a hat too look at the tote it's so what? cute this is so cute i love this tote also sent over craft instant coffee with notes of berry compote toffee and lemon sounds yummy how to brew one sachet instant coffee with one ounce of hot water and then you add ice and then six to eight ounces of water to make an iced coffee i wouldn't do water i'd probably do oat milk or you can do one sachet of instant coffee with six to eight ounces of hot water how cool is that let me see the side of your beanie damn bro you want that XO shit. Cool. I'm not complaining about it. Through our custom process, we've transformed this Ethiopian coffee into beautiful crystals that capture its distinct gamut fruit flavors and complex sweetness. Build your own coffee rituals anywhere with this effortless new way to enjoy a classic. OMG. Thanks, Blue Bottle. Thanks, Abel. Ow, what the fuck was that? Do you mean to do that? 
face. What the hell, bro? <laughs> I'm sorry. You hit me like right on the base <laughs> of my teeth. Hey, don't be talking like that. Sorry. Oh my god, wait. Oh my god, they wrote me a letter! Hi Jasmine, please enjoy these goodies. We've included the Summer Origins merch and Summer Coffee. Can't wait to hear how much you love it. Your friends at Blue Bottle! Oh my god, well, if you ever want to send over a gift card too, just like let me know. It's handwritten by Abel himself. I'm just kidding. He's like, hey Jazz, I noticed you and your boyfriend streamed my album literally all year last year. This is a thank you. Wait, look how nice. Oh my god, this is so cool. And like, Blue Bottle's the real deal. Amaric term of endearment, Tolo Tolo, is used throughout Ethiopia to hurry along a friend or a loved one. When it's time to Tolo Tolo, get moving with Kraft Instant Coffee in hand. That is so awesome. Like, that's dream gifting right there, is Blue Bottle. We have one more package, and it's from Rice the Rice Kit. I don't know what that is. It came all the way from Korea. <gasps> oh my god, I got Korean skincare. Wait, what? <gasps> Locally sourced rice. You know, have you guys seen all the videos of people saying cleaning your face with rice water is so good for you? Wait, this is crazy. It has been said that Koreans manage their skin to be clean and vibrant throughout the times with utilizing rice bran and cleansing their faces with rice water. We studied the efficacy of rice to continue the tradition of infusing skin with energy and nutrients from nature. We lo source locally and ethically from designated farms and include 10% of the rice extra extracts from all of our products. I'm so excited! And they also sent me a rice bran sheet mask. A white rice wash-off mask. Wait, this is so cool. And then they also sent a rice facial moisturizer. Wow. That was my first pop show in the house. Oh my god. You know what's a good part about that? It holds. No, you didn't. Ooh, ooh. Sketchy. Okay, wait. And they also sent me SPF 50. Wait, this is amazing. I would try it right now, but I literally just put SPF on my face. Oh, wow, I even love the packaging. It's so cool. I'm so excited. House of Doa. I might be pronouncing that wrong. Now Ryan's opening my bookshelf. I think I'm gonna make some of that coffee. Is that the metal one or the black one? I don't remember. I got the like hammered metal or something. Baby, just letting you know, your vlogs and everything are already that much more interesting. Like, this feels like an influencer's house. Does it? Yeah. Oh, thank you. up chat about where I'm at with my fitness. I think maybe down the line I'll be a bit more transparent about some of the struggles I've been having and kind of some of the thoughts that I've been having around fitness. I don't think I'm ready to talk about that right now because I definitely suspect it will gain some criticism and um, yeah, I just don't think I'm like ready for that because it's like super, super personal to me and just like what I've been dealing with. So if and when I am ready to talk about it, but right now, no, this might be kind of long. So buckle up, get a snack, go walk on the treadmill because I'm gonna just talk for a minute here. Um, okay, so I've been through a lot when it comes to getting just back into a healthy routine, getting back into shape. A lot of the times I have been able to create really amazing habits, really amazing routines, then I inevitably fall back off. And I think that the biggest issue has been that I have gone into every single one of these goals wanting to lose weight. Every single time I've been like, I wanna lose 10 pounds. 
every single time I've been like, I want to lose 15 pounds, I want to lose five pounds, like I need to lose weight, that ends up putting some form of pressure on me, whether it comes to my diet, how often I'm working out, what kind of cardio I'm doing, just things like that. And I feel that that has been the one thing that has just ruined it for me. And I get really anxious talking about this because I know at the end of the day, there are so many incredible people that have been able to do it. I've been able to do it before, but I just have like an overwhelming amount of dissatisfaction at the progress that I make. Not my coaches. All of my coaches have been incredible. They've helped set me up and create so many great habits and create amazing workout routines that I can really follow and I'm inspired by. But I mean, I even tried to do 75 day hard and do that by myself. And then I was like, maybe I'll do 75 soft and then I was like why am I even doing this at all like oh so even though I would get to a point where I would lose about five pounds I just was still not happy with my body still not happy with my progress I was starting to feel bored with my workouts or whatever the case and so I would just stop again and then I'd maybe start jogging a mile every day or every other day and it's just been an up and down cycle and basically I was considering something that I don't feel comfortable talking about. Still something that I think, you know, could be a controversial discussion. And it kind of took me talking to a few people in my life that I really care about and trust. And ultimately, obviously the decision is in my hands, but ultimately through them and kind of like through my own conscious, I was like, I need to stop looking. Mm, it's so scary to say. I just decided to hire a personal trainer again. Let's just put it like that. And like making it so difficult on myself. I decided to hire a personal trainer again but what's different about this time is that this is a trainer that is Latina that has been on a similar journey to me, but she's also like really like, let's talk about cycle syncing. Let's talk about what didn't work for you in the last year. I've worked with her before. Her name is Angie. She's amazing. She's so, so sweet. I learned about her through my friend Liana. I'm really excited to do this with her again because the first time I was getting coached by her she was just creating like the program and nutrition for me because i was like i can do this on my own but now i'm going to be seeing her two times a week and i think just being in a space to be able to chat with her for 10 15 minutes put the control of progress photos measurements weight in her hands is really important i love that she's in line with me saying like look yes i want to lose weight but i'm also just like trying to change my mindset around the gym because i just feel like no matter what i do i end up hating it again and she's like well let's not call this your fitness journey or your weight loss journey this is just just your healing journey. And when she said that, I was like, whoa. It was so intentional. Like you could tell that she was genuinely considering everything that I just shared with her over the last 45 minutes. And she's like, this is your healing journey. And like, I'm gonna sit with this, I'm gonna meditate on it and try and figure out some ways that we can work together that don't feel triggering to you, that don't feel overwhelming to you. I'd apologize because I'm like, I'm sorry if it feels like I'm complicating things. I just wanna be transparent with where I'm at because obviously hiring a personal, personal trainer is expensive and like, if this is something that sounds like, you know, like a bit much, like I get it. She was just like, no, like, let's do it. And I felt so understood. I got emotional during the call. That was the crazy part. It's like, as I was talking about my frustrations and my insecurities and the challenges that I continue to like face when I give up again. And I was shocked because I got emotional and I was like, I don't even know why I'm crying. What is going on? My period's starting in five. She's like, it's okay. That's okay. You can be emotional. And today, I had my first session with her, but it wasn't actually a workout. We just kind of did measurements, progress pictures, talked about diet, talked about exercise. We're gonna call this the healing journey. I'm not gonna discuss weight loss. I'm not gonna discuss my body. If I'm seeing changes and I'm like excited and proud to share that with you guys, great. But like really, I'm trying to view this from a growth perspective. I also started therapy two weeks ago and she's been really amazing. Like this is really, truly a healing journey for not only like my spirit and my self-esteem and my health and my wellness. I was like, I might not want to know what my measurements or my weigh-ins are showing. Like if anything, you could take the progress pictures and we can look at those sometimes, but we'll just see where I'm at with it. And she's like, yeah. And if you don't want to make it about that, we can do strength goals. So that way, you know, maybe you weren't able to do a single pull up and within a month we want you to be able to do three those will be indicators that you are getting stronger that you are obviously working to improve your health and your mindset because look at the improvements and so i thought that was really great so i will say we did do an initial intake today and we found my file from when we started in may of 2022 so it's been a year and a half since i saw her what was interesting is full transparency we'll talk about weight and measurements is that i was a hundred and 
32 pounds, give or take, when I first started to see her. Now I am close to 140 pounds. I'm about 130. Nine is what it weighed today. Actually, no, it was like, it was pretty much 140. It was 139.8. A couple things to consider, you know, I hadn't gone number two yet. I had had a big thing of ice cream the night before. I hadn't been drinking a ton of water and my period is set to start in a few days. It was triggering for me to step on the scale and see that. I've never been so close to 140 and I'm 5'1", and so it was kind of a shock. I handled it with ease though, but it's just been like kind of on the back of my mind of like, wow, okay, what's going on, babe? <laughs> I mean, what is it? Like, are you, what, what is it? I just, I don't know. I don't even know what I mean by what is it? Just like what's going on? We took the measurements. I've gained about seven pounds. Let's say that it's a mixture, you know, of water weight, of poor diet, of not moving enough, of whatever. But what was interesting is that my body fat percentage has actually gone up 3%. So I was at 28 0.5 and now I'm at like 31% so that was interesting so those two things went up but then when she took measurements everything had kind of surprisingly either stayed the same or gone down my arms on both sides lost an inch which I'm like that's crazy because I feel like my arms have gotten bigger and then my waist has actually lost half an inch like and then I had her measure in my stomach but I had her go lower than she went the first time when we did these measurements because I was like I'm not like where she wanted to measure on my belly button is kind of like the smallest point and I wanted to focus more on my lower belly because that's where I've been holding a lot of the weight. So let's read these off. The last time I got measured was April 22nd of 2022. I was 131.6 pounds. Today I was 139.8, so we'll just call it 140. My body fat was at 28.5. Today it was at 31.4. My BMI was at 24.8. Today it was at 26.4. My waist was 29. Today it was at 28.5. My stomach was at 33 points, no, sorry, 31, and today was at 36, but again, give or take maybe two inches because of the adjustment. I guess that still makes sense because that is like probably where the majority of my fat went. And then my right thigh was 21.3, today was at 21.2. My left thigh was 21, my left thigh was still 21. My right arm was 10.4, today it was 9.6. My left arm was 11 and today it was 9.7. My glutes were at 40.7 and today they were at 40.7. So I'm just like, okay, how did my body fat go up 3% and I've gained seven pounds, but like like, if anything, I lost two and a half inches. And she was like, well, maybe, you know, even though we still measured you lower, it could be that majority of the fat is being stored in your stomach. And I guess I could see that. I also think it could be in areas that maybe aren't being measured, like my forearms or my calves, my bra roll right here, or my face. Like, I, it's definitely there, but it, I think it just, like, distributed quite evenly. I also think it's in my boobs. I'm not gonna lie. And if it is, what a blessing in disguise. They'll probably be the first to go, unfortunately. But I've been getting asked recently if I got a breast job, a breast job, a boob job. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. I thought those measurements were very interesting, regardless if it's evenly distributed or whatever. I just thought it was interesting. The plan right now is I'll be doing two sessions a week with her, and then I'll be doing two sessions on my own, and any other exercise like Pilates, yoga, will just be considered like bonus, like a bonus workout, but we are just focusing heavily on weight training. And I have been tested now for PCOS, endometriosis, I got a second opinion, I'm good. So the final thing for me to get tested on, that could be like a factor in my weight loss resistance that I feel I'm experiencing. It could be cortisol. My doctor did want me to get cortisol testing back in May around the time that I was seeing Angie. Oh no, May of this year. And I didn't go. I finally went on Friday and I should be getting those results towards the end of the week. And I feel like that'll be my final thing to get clarity on. Cause if I see that my cortisol results are normal, then I'm going to be like, okay, I'm literally, it's just me and I'm just making this difficult. So that's where I'm at with everything. It's three o'clock. I'm going to get ready to go to the gym. I'm not working out today I'm just gonna go and get some steps in because I haven't really moved much today besides like taking the dogs on two small walks 
but I just wanted to update you guys in that department and I would love to hear kind of where you guys are at in your fitness journey. Maybe some areas that you've struggled with and areas that you have really improved on because I think I really just need to hear other people's stories. Like I think it makes me feel more seen and understood but it also motivates me and reminds me that I'm not alone. If you have any time, I would love, love, love to kind of hear where you're at with everything and if you've been struggling, maybe you can go on this healing journey with me too and let's like really rephrase our approach and reconsider you know how we're gonna do things this time so that's it thanks for listening I'm gonna go walk now I started therapy again and when I went I realized that Trader Joe's was literally across the street so now I'm just gonna make it a point on Wednesdays to make that like my therapy and grocery haul day you know if I need to get things in between then I can at like a local market but I'm excited. I spent like 150 bucks. I'm trying to make that my goal. And I am trying, oh my God, I hate those little tiny hairs. Basically, I am trying to focus on eating more whole foods. I could have a whole discussion. I know I kind of already talked about it the other day. Let me show you guys everything I got and then I'll kind of like update you guys as to where I'm at. I did significantly less snacks than usual and focused on more like whole foods, but like a couple snacks, you know? So starting off strong, I got the popcorn with herbs and spices. I've seen it the last three times and I've wanted to get it or last two times. And today I finally caved. This is like my favorite popcorn treat snack ever. I also got some baby lettuce because I really want to start making more salads at home. We'll see how successful that is. I also got some arugula. Mariana was saying that it tastes really good on top of like an avocado toast. I also love the bowl from Zinke and they always top it off with arugula. I got some tiny cherry tomatoes. Like these are even smaller than regular ones and they're called sprinkles. Look, it even says teeny tiny tomatoes. So cute, like you don't even need to slice these. Also, does anyone know why they always tell you not to put these in the refrigerator? I got two bell peppers, orange and red. I got the green goddess dressing. I've heard a lot of really good things about this. I'm probably gonna make a salad with this today. Also got a red onion and some pistachios to use as a salad topper. Microgreens, this is my first time buying microgreens. Also got some organic mayo. I don't remember why I bought that. Strawberries, you guys, I have to take a moment. You guys know I love strawberries. If you know, we're not gonna chew the plastic. Go through like three of these a week. So I went on Amazon, I bought a strawberry slicer and it's gonna slice them perfectly. No more of my sad little slicing attempts. I also got some broccoli. I got some turkey bacon. I also got two little pears that are in here. Some lemon as a topper and for my water and things like that and some blackberries. Got some more pasture raised eggs. Trader Joe's pricing is always gonna be beyond me because Vital Farms pasture raised eggs, eggs are always like eight to nine dollars for a 12 pack and this was four dollars. I got some cilantro and chives. I'm sure I'll find something to use this for. Some raspberries, this looked so good. Crunchy chili onion hummus. I love the chili onion like in the jar so I feel like this hummus is gonna be insane. I also got crumbled feta cheese because I've always loved this on a salad and then some big parmesan flakes shaved parmesan, I don't know, as a topper for like pasta. I got some strawberry mochi. This is like one of my favorite evening treats. Everybody's always talking about the chocolate covered bananas, but I got the chocolate covered strawberries. I hadn't seen these in stock before, but this is right up my alley. Some more organic jasmine rice. Ryan and I really need to invest in a rice cooker. I also got some chicken thighs, some thin sliced chicken breast, some Alaskan sockeye salmon, which I'm probably gonna be the only one to eat because Ryan's not really huge on salmon and four days that I don't feel like cooking I like to have something quick and accessible and I'm obsessed with this Kung Pao chicken it is so freaking good and so filling but also like I can eat the whole thing it's just so good I also got some bananas I also got this French loaf and look it's probably not the most nutritious but I was like an avocado toast on this would be divine I also got some chopped spinach 
maybe if I start making smoothies, could be nice to have. Three avocados and some taco seasoning because you just you just never know when you're gonna need taco seasoning. And then I got five of the Go Macro Bars. I always get the heartwarming retreat, which is the oatmeal chocolate chip. I've tried all of them that you know don't have walnuts and stuff, and that one just always takes the cake. It's so good to me. So that's everything I got. And right now I'm feeling pretty inspired to like cook because I feel like I got enough groceries to not overwhelm myself. Like there's not too many different veggies where I'm like, I need to try to incorporate them all. So I'm figuring out what my issue is because I just went on a spiral on TikTok looking up different salad recipes instead of just throwing together what I have. Like I feel like this holds me back so, so often because I'm just like, am I making it right? When really like, it's just salad. Like when you make a salad wrong, I'm kind of nervous about this green goddess dressing. I know everybody says it's amazing, but I kind of want to try it first. Oh, that's pretty fucking good. So I think I'm gonna do this with feta cheese and chicken. Okay, I feel like this is a pretty solid start. I've got baby lettuce mix, my microgreens, some cilantro, my little tomatoes, red onion, dressing, lemon if I wanna squeeze it on top, and then Alaskan sockeye salmon. So I think I'm actually just gonna put this in the air fryer. There's two pieces, so. Yeah, I'm gonna put one in the air fryer, make myself a salad. Okay, I just went down another rabbit hole, but we're fine now, we're fine. I got fixated on whether or not I need a Dijon mustard to make my salad. I'm not a cook. I don't know how to get past the mindset of like, you can make up your own recipe and kind of eyeball it. Like, I feel like I have a pretty good idea of like what tastes good together and what doesn't, especially like I just have seasonings that I love to pair together, but it just doesn't stop me from like overthinking the fuck out of it. And obviously like that just takes the fun out of cooking in general. I've always been an extremely, an extreme overthinker and you know with that I'm just like oh I don't even feel like doing this anymore it's okay I don't even feel like it I'm an excellent cook when I have a recipe to follow other than that I can't make you any fucking promises like why can't this just be a fun process for me I'm 100% gonna overthink this the entire time that I'm making stuff this doesn't even need to be out right now you don't even need to be out right now neither do you okay we're good <laughs> we're good I'm having a great time. It's fine. I'm thinking I don't need all this salmon, but I'm also like, why not? No paprika. I'm just like, really? I don't need to spray olive oil on it? I guess I could do that after. Adding some smoked paprika. We're adding some, adding some garlic powder. Yum. We're adding some chili powder. We're gonna be a little mindful with this because I'm not really a spice girl. We're gonna add some ground ginger. Mm -hmm. And then salt, pepper, and sesame oil, but I don't have sesame oil. So we're just gonna do olive oil. Salt, pepper, sesame oil. Okay, chef, this is actually looking kind of good. No, because it really is. Guys, I think we might have done something here. Here goes nothing. <laughs> kind of nervous. Okay, <laughs> we did it. Guys, that was actually not that bad. Don't judge me, I'm being vulnerable. Probably not the knife to be using, but what matters is I'm chopping. Oh my God, you guys, I just chopped an onion. Wait, I think this is gonna be really good. And if it is, I'm excited. If this really doesn't taste good, no, I won't be discouraged. I will be inspired. Is that a lot of onion? I like onion, we'll do like, Fuck it, right? Like, what's the worst that could happen? Not me becoming a cooking channel. It's looking green. This feels like such a big, like, moment. Should we try the salmon? Oh my god. What am I doing? That tastes straight out of a fucking restaurant. I'm gonna add a little more feta, because I'm so damn proud of myself. I'm gonna have the rest of the avocado too. I'm so damn proud. I'm gonna clean up my mess and eat the salad that I just made. It's a chicken salad. It's a chicken salad. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm gonna go eat. <laughs>